Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman from Batman Returns is one of the most instantly recognizable comic book characters to ever appear on film. And we know that after Batman Returns, there were plans to spin off the character into her own film series. Then, of course, when that fell apart, they tried again with Halle Berry, and it sounds like they might try again with the current iteration of the character spinning out of the Batman. But for now, let's talk about what could have been the sequel to Batman Returns. It's kind of amazing to me that we are 30 years or just about there removed from Batman Returns and we know so little about what Tim Burton intended to do with his third film instead of what we ended up getting, which of course was Batman Forever. But recently, we found out just a little bit more. And it came at us from one of the screenwriters of Batman Returns, specifically Daniel Waters, who talks about the initial pitch, the discussions, and what was going on with the development of Catwoman. And he said that the idea was completely different. It was going to be about an $18 million film that was all black and white. The film was also going to be very small on the stakes and very low-key about Celine living in a small town. That's best described as sort of a counter to Gotham City, where it was outside of Los Angeles. So that's how they positioned it. Not exactly LA, but like a counter that's very different from Gotham City. So think of Gotham as New York and think of LA as this other place right that's what he was going for a completely different vibe and originally they intended to do something completely different with her character development as well apparently this wasn't even going to be as much of an action focus or anything like that like it was supposed to be more of a character study but again it didn't end up happening so ultimately all the complaints from parents and everybody in regards to the darker tones of Batman Returns and what they were going for stopped this dead in its track. And who knows, maybe they'll explore this with more comics or something. I mean, they've been doing that with some of these proposed sequels that we never got. So let's hope. I would like to see just what they were going for and how different it could have been and would have been, honestly. It just sounds different. Not good or bad, just different.